Yo, so I've been seeing on Twitter that Rolling Stone has released a top 200 greatest hip hop albums of all time. And I saw one of the placements and it was absolutely horrendous. I'm gonna be going in on this. I'm gonna be telling y'all what I think about the albums that are on here, what I agree with, what I don't agree with, and uh, yeah. I mean, it's lit. already, I don't know how to feel about this. It's a, it's a good record. It's not Travis's best record. I still got Rodeo over it, but I think it's maybe a bit controversial to put a top two on it, but okay, you know what? I'll let him have it. Okay, now, hell no, I can't agree with this <laughs> i mean this record is definitely not bad it's a good record but is it better than astroworld uh, actually probably looking back at it now i was tripping it is not better than astroworld <laughs> but is it top 200 probably not all right pop smoke gets in there with meet the Woo. i think meet the Woo is definitely a solid project again i don't know top 200 hip-hop but if you want to be more inclusive include some drill in there this is probably an album that you would include i like that i like yeah hell yeah okay yeah i like that so far so far this list is actually kind of decent i i'm not gonna lie this is actually fine so far this list is actually kind of decent i i'm not gonna lie this is actually fine by the way i'm not gonna be commenting on records that i haven't heard so grave diggers six feet deep i haven't heard that yet so i i, I can't talk about it so yeah. Yeah. Fly God 176. Yep, that, that's a good pick. That, that's a really good pick. I don't think people really know about Fly God like that, but if you haven't listened to it, you should give it a listen. It's actually a really good record. Flo Millie, ho, why is you here? Yeah, why the fuck is you here? Okay, this is gonna piss some people off. This album is loved on hip hop Twitter and on the internet pretty much, but I, I must say, this is probably fair. I think 166 is not too low for this. I am not the biggest fan of this record. I still enjoy the record. I think it's a pretty good record, but I think 166 is fair. Hey, Oxymoron better be on this shit. If Blankface gets on here, Oxymoron has to be on here. Uh, yep, and, uh, guess what? Uh, it's not on the list, so, uh, nice one, Rolling Stones. Okay, now, nah, hold on, now, nah, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second, nah, nah, hold on. A 6 out of 10? A 6 out of 10 on a top 200? Uh, I mean, I... Hey, Rolling Stone, you do you, but I, I disagree with this. I'm pretty sure everyone can disagree with this. Come on, man, the fuck is this? Danny Brown, XXX, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. I think that's also a fair placement. He does have a better album, which should definitely place higher, maybe top top 30 if i'm being honest but i'm back again <laughs> atrocity exhibition was not on the list which i mean okay that's just wrong let's be honest and at this point in the recording i was thinking the list is actually okay because you know i didn't know that such good albums weren't gonna be on this list but yeah i mean i'm not gonna lie this isn't half bad hey oh hold on hold on this is good oh my god shrem life is actually really solid it has so many classics and bangers on this it's a banger it's a banger this isn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be this is turning out to be pretty decent aside from like a few picks. Okay, and they're as they start talking about come on man. Oh my god bro oh, hell no man what the fuck man uh, so you're gonna tell me that uh, Lil Nas X Montero is a better album than Pinata. It's a better album than Shrem Life uh, let, me, let me see what, what else do we have up here. Better album than Lifestyle of the Poor and Dangerous. Ah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. That's a dud. I can't lie. That that one's a. I, I don't agree with that at all. One bit. L Cool J Radio. Yeah, this is some OG shit. 85. Come on now. Common B. Ooh, that's a bit low. I'm gonna be honest. That's a little low. I was expecting it to probably be like top 100, maybe top 80. 145. I mean, okay, it's still respectable, you know. But it not being in the top 100, I I, I really don't know. I I'm a bit stumped by this. Might I add that? They they also added another common album later on to the list and this is an issue that i've seen reoccurring here they kind of downplay some of the artists kind of more generally accepted best albums and just put in like other more deep cuts maybe which i mean again nothing wrong with that but i feel like the general consensus is that common b is his best album and not only that the same thing happened with danny brown and more artists on this list Lil Uzi, nah get the fuck out of here you're putting it two spots above common b get the fuck out of here man the roots how I got over, Run the Jewels, Run the Jewels 2, LL Cool J, Radio, all these great projects, some of the ones we had before. You're telling me Eternal Take is better? Get out of here, man. Come on. Nas, it was written. I mean, look, actually, you know, it's a top three Nas album, but it's not a top two Nas album. I got King's Disease 2. I think King's Disease 2 is genuinely better than it was written. We got City Girls up in here now. What are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, look, I'm not trying to discriminate against no one, no woman, no none, but let's be serious here. Come on, let's be serious. I mean, it's an okay project. I think it's got a few solid songs, but 
but uh, I nah, man, come on. Top 200 of all time, hip hop albums? No, hell no. Tupac, Me Against the World, uh, maybe even his best album, to be honest. Now, I still got all eyes on me, but this is definitely his second best. Killer Mike, rap music, that's also a decent pick. I like that. I like that being put here. J. Cole 20, okay, that's also another good pick. We're on a roll here. Not my favorite J. Cole album. Yes, I, uh, it's a little unpopular opinion, but I do like For Your Eyes Only more. The general consensus is that 2014 Forest Hill Drives is the better album. It's more loved. And honestly, I'm not going to argue with that. It's still a great project. And I love it probably just as much as For Your Eyes Only. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I saw this on Twitter. Okay, I saw this on Twitter. Uh... No, what? nah. Hear me out. Tupac died the same day Cardi was born. Coincidence? I think not. Don't get me wrong, I love this record. I was one of the people defending it when it came out on Christmas. And it's even grown on me since then. Like, I, I liked it then. I was like, okay, yeah, this is okay. I like this. I love it now. I love this shit. But it is not top 200. I will say, though, it has potential to enter the top 200. We'll see how it ages. I think it's still pretty new to tell. If it ages well, I, I don't know. I think this spot could soon be deserved. This I'd say this isn't even better than Savage Mode 2. And Savage Mode 2 doesn't deserve to be on here. So you already know how I feel about this. And this is not even 21's best project. If Without Warning is not on this shit, I will pass the fuck out, okay? It deserves to be top 100, easily. And guess what album didn't make it on the list? <laughs> I hate this fucking list, I hate it. Okay, okay, I like that. I think it actually should be even a little higher, probably breaking into the top 100. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, happy that this is there. If Take Care isn't on here, I will kill myself. Outcast, okay, I'm expecting Aquemini to be higher on this list and probably Stankonia, but we'll see. Okay, okay, okay. I don't agree. I'm a huge Stugger fan, but I do not agree. It's still a pretty decent project. It's definitely a classic trap album but no it's not even the best tiger project jeffrey now has to be on here because this is on here jeffrey is miles better than this nope get the fuck out terrible i i love tyler but this is a bad project this is bad damn they put my favorite jay-z album not even in the top 100 i mean okay it's fair i think uh the the blueprint is gonna place higher which i mean fair it's not it's not my favorite jay-z album this is but i do like the blueprint and i think it should probably be higher before chance was bad damn i actually want this chance back i i don't know if i agree with this but it's like it's still a pretty decent project we're about to see what's at a Let's see this. I'm actually kind of excited. If it's some shit album, I'm gonna kill myself. All right, let's go. It is Run DMC Raising Hell. Okay, it is not. It's not a shit album. Fuck yeah. Okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. I right, I like that. Okay, good. The Carter Two definitely deserve to be top 100. I would say even a little bit higher, but 99. Okay, you know what? Fair. I'll give it to him. Lil Wayne is the goat, by the way. Not really, but he uh, he is the goat. Hey, man on the moon. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I know many people will probably disagree, but I personally love that album. So I would say this is kind of fair. It's not really that great of a record but it has a personal meaning to me and i love it so much it's it's got a special place in my heart so i i'm happy to see it on here okay slim shady lp eminem's third best project they say so i'll see where the eminem show places and marshall mathers lp so yeah we'll see some rap songs unpopular opinion i disagree it's grown on me but i still don't quite really love the record it's okay it's genuinely okay at best for me okay the first kanye album on here and i do not agree <laughs> if you saw my kanye ranking albums video you will know that i don't really like this record it's probably kanye's worst but Size from Jesus is King. So yeah, I don't even agree that it should be top 200, but okay, fine. Look, I, I know, I, I see that they're trying to be inclusive of some of the newer stuff and new female stuff, but dog, uh, we gotta be honest. Like, th this is not this is not a great record, okay? Th this isn't great. The score, I, kinda low, I can't lie, kinda low. I'd expect top 50. I would put it top 50, I mean. 70 is still good, though. It's pretty deep into the top 100, so it's fair. But yeah, I know what's at 16th place, and that is not better than this album, and uh, yeah. 50 Cent, get, okay, I like that now it's not the greatest of projects but it's a very fun project it's full of bangers and you know what I, I, i'm fine with this pick I'm, I'm 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 cool with this yes 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 more mf doom yes there's still mad villainy and um food to be on here i think um food probably deserves to crack even the top 30 and mad villainy is a probably top 20 top 15 hip-hop album uh nope don't nope. get me wrong them is good uh does it break top 200 maybe probably but it will be very low kind of maybe like the 200 thing how about that but yeah top 60 nah no that's way too Hi, I'm sorry. I've got a tie with Section 80, and the rest of Kendrick's discog is way better. Culture. Okay, that's a controversial one. I'm not gonna say I disagree, but I'm not gonna say I agree. Way too high up. You're telling me that Migos culture is better than License to Ill, better than America's Most Wanted, better than Life After Death, Damn, and all these like Doomsday, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying, all these other albums. No, I just can't agree. I would personally have the college drop put a little higher, but I'm not mad at 52. I think that's actually kind of fair. Nope, I come to say I was very much tripping here this is not a fair placement based on how this list is made you're telling me that culture is only two spots below uh, the college dropout no it's just not it, let's be real here it's not and even if this list actually looked okay the college dropout at 52 doesn't make sense to me i would put it at least top 30 if we're speaking i would personally
definitely have it higher, but top 30, I think, would be almost a guarantee. Couldn't it break top 50? I, I think it could. It could. In my opinion, it's a top 15 rap album ever. Probably top 10. I mean, it, it's one of the best debut albums of all time. And I, I, I love this record. So, yeah, I, I would have liked to see it a bit higher. I knew it was going to be on here. Of course it was going to be on here. But, yeah. Okay, we're cracking into the top 50 now. I'm expecting to see something good here. Let's see. What's the 50th pick? Uh, an album that I haven't heard. <laughs> uh, NWA straight out of Compton, though. Okay, decent pick. I'd say that's respectable for 49. So, yeah. J. Dilla Donuts. Fair. Again, that's respectable. Nope. nope. Get the fuck out of here. Listen, it's a pretty good project, but it's way too new to be put on a list like this, and it's not even Tyler's best, okay? Igor is way better. Well, then again, Igor isn't really a rap album, so you can't put it on here. Wolf is better. Where is Wolf? Wolf deserves to be top 200. Maybe not top 100, but top 200 for sure. Late registration. Better than the college dropout? Hell no. Is it a good project, though? Yes. Does it deserve 41? Yes. Let's go. The GOAT. I told you, he's the GOAT. But yeah, that's that's pretty deserved, I think. The Carter 3 is an amazing project. Carter 2 being that much below it, I don't know how I feel. I think maybe you should move the Carter 2 up a little bit. Like, you know where, where culture was? It was like at 54. Yeah, that should be the Carter 2. Good Kid Mad City. I'd put it even higher. I think it's a great project. Like, you can't generally compare it to TPAP. TPAP is not miles better. This is still a really solid project. Finally, Rich at 32. I mean, uh, how do I say this without uh, pissing you guys off? Um, it's good. It's not Chief Keef's best. I generally don't think it's Chief Keef's best. Thought Breaker is insane. Finally, Rich is good. It's influential. But 32? No. Top 200? I wouldn't put it, but I can understand someone putting it. So yeah. Two pack, all eyes on me, 29. Bare placement. Maybe even a little high, but that's fair. Uh, the deep mob. I'm uh, deep mob. What the? <laughs> Aquemini. There we go. We've got Aquemini over here. Stankonia. Probably not on this list. That's kind of deep. Ignore the voice crack, by the way. Stankonia. Marshall Mathers LP. There it is. Uh, Eminem show. Top 20 looks like it. Okay, I'm happy with that. I, I genuinely agree. So, I was so certain that the Eminem show was gonna make it, and it didn't make it. Yeah, this list is awful. Illmatic at 20. That. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I don't. Nah. Nah, it deserves to be at least top 20, I think. Lil Wayne, the drought three. I mean, I mean, I think it deserves to be on here, but 21. Uh, okay, y'all do you, man. Yes! Oh my, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I know the amount of people and old heads that will be so pissed at this, but literally, suck my dick, please. Oh my god. I think it's odd that they put DS2 on here and not Monster, but hey, at least I'm happy to see DS2 this high up on the list. Yes, yes, yes. If um food isn't on here, I'll be pissed. I'm gonna be honest. Madeline at 18, fair. Uh, my penis is so hard. That's good. I like that. I, I really do like that. Although, yes, I do love this Jesus placement. I think some of its contemporaries and some of its kind of uh, inspirations, I guess, should be mentioned also. The Money Store Death Grips. I didn't see any Death Grips on here, which is a shame. I love Death Grips, but yeah. And here it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I saw this on Twitter. Yeah, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this record. I thought it was good, but it is not even the best album of the year it came out. And it's not probably the best album of the month it came out. And what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, hell no. Fuck no. I mean, yo, dude, you're putting above Yeezus, Mad Villainy. Fuck it, you're putting it above Illmatic. Are you taking the piss? Okay, yeah, I did see this on Twitter. I kind of forgot about it, but now that I've seen it, it came back to me. Look, uh, this is a top 10 record of mine. One of my favorite records. Like, top 10 all-time favorite records. This is probably in there. I would say, compared to how much sort of impact some of these records before it have had, it does not deserve to be this high up. Yes, it deserves to be on this list, but definitely not this high up. Okay, top 10. I'm going to be breaking these down one by one. One. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill, good. That's a good pick. I, I'd say that's fair. Uh, a Shackle Kiss, The Low End Theory, that's again fair. I like this album a lot. Uh, nine is pretty fair for it. Uh, Wu Tang Clan, Enter the Wu Tang, 36 Chambers. Yep, that's also fair. I like that. So far, the top 10 is good. Missy, so addictive. I, I heard of this. I haven't heard of this, so I'm not gonna comment on it. Kanye, okay. Yeah, six is fair, I think. T Pab, five is also fair, I think. That's pretty good. Public Enemy, it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. I haven't heard it, so I can't comment. Blueprint, as I said, uh, not my favorite uh, Hove album, but deserves to be on here. Stankonia, too. What the? I love this album. Number two of all time. No, I'm sorry. And the number one album of, of all time, number one rap album is Ready to Die. Okay, okay. You know what? That's fair. I uh, I think that's kind of fair. In conclusion, this list was not... This, this was kind of bad. I can't lie. Yeah, no, th this throws everything off the table. But yeah, I don't know how to feel about this list, man. I, I, I think it has some good placements on here, some stuff I agree with. Jesus at 17. To talk about some stuff that I didn't mention here in my conclusion, uh, this list is really inconsistent. Like, there's stuff like Megan Thee Stallion Fever up at 50 or something like that. I don't quite remember. And then there's 2014 Forest Hill Drives at like 150. 
150. There's Bandana at 190. Little Sims at 180. And I feel like they weren't as harsh on new stuff, but I feel like you have to be when you're making such a grand list like this. For an album to be in the top 200 hip hop albums of all time, you need to give it some time to age. You need to see, you know, how kind of impact it'll have. And I feel like they didn't value that enough. 808s and Heartbreak wasn't on this list. I feel like that album should be at least top 50. But yeah, in general, the list is not great. There's a lot of inconsistency here and just a lot of albums that are being overhyped and maybe some being placed a little too low. Just in general, not a great list. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.